What is your vision is a question that really, I hate this question because it feels like you need to change the world and have like an amazing, amazing dream, which I f never felt like I really have one. But for the last past weeks, actually, whenever I'm taking a shower and I'm thinking about stuff, I think that vision that I have about what I'm trying to do here is really being clarified. I want to share it with you so you know what I'm working towards and what you can expect here on this YouTube channel and in my business in the upcoming year and years to come. So let's rock and roll. Hey everybody, so today I wanna to talk about what I actually just realized is my vision. And again, this word vision feels like very pompous. I don't, I don't even know how to say it. It's very, very big. Like you need to have like this amazing big vision. But I wanna talk about really what motivates me and what I'm passionate about and what I'm trying to do with the things that I'm doing so that you'll, you'll understand why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. So basically, there, it seems like I understood that I'm working to do two different things, which are somewhat related, but actually unrelated. The first one is basically this YouTube channel and why I started this YouTube channel. And that is... I think now I'm understanding. When I started it, of course, I was influenced. When I started vlogging, I was influenced by, you know, Casey Neistat and stuff like that. But the core belief that I had was that you need to be entertaining and educating at the same time. And so I wanted to create a kind of a media platform for designers where you can learn, but you can also kind of see the lifestyle of what a, a life of a designer might look like. So it would motivate you to work harder so you know what's possible, so you can be inspired from different people. And I, of course, I only shared my life, but as I'm growing and as I'm thinking about how to make a bigger impact in the world, I realize that I want this vision of education and entertainment for designers to be much bigger than just me. And if you would, the way that I'm actually starting to think about it is maybe think about kind of the Netflix for designers, or at least I'm trying to adopt the mind, the mindset of a company like Netflix, how they're thinking about creating their platform. So Netflix kind of commissions and they're, they're putting out their own content, but they're also working with other content creator to bring the best content on their platform. And so on my YouTube channel, all, everything I did was videos of me or you know me talking with other people. And I think this is a good start and we saw what's working and what's not working. Now I understand the limitation of this is that you can only learn from my experience, which is, you might say, you know, I did some things successfully, but there is a lot of ways to do things successfully. And I wanna bring in expertise and perspective from other people. So what you can expect in the future is to start seeing other creators on the platform, sharing their experiences. And we kind of wanna do content with other creators so either you know bringing him on the channel or actually starting to think about kind of TV shows for designers which we will produce um, some of them might include me and some of them might not include me but this is kind of the vision and how I'm thinking about this platform this media platform that I've created here and this is the vision uh, that I'm going through. So kind of think about it as the Netflix for designer, a media platform that brings in the best creatives um, on, the, on the planet to share different perspectives about how you can become an independent, successful designer. That is one thing that I'm very passionate about. The other thing is obviously the education part and that is the school that I'm building. Now, I have to say, you know, I've been learning a lot online myself over the years i've started learning picking up all the software with you know stuff like lynda.com i've been taking courses from the future like the business boot camp and i do think that it's amazing what other people are doing and i fully support them you know the future are my friends um, there's a lot of other creators right now working on their own courses which i think is phenomenal and is very very great I think what I'm trying to do with my school is a little bit different in the sense of what I'm what I'm trying to do and how I'm trying to do this. So the way I think about this is I want my school to be transformational. And the, the way I think about transformation means that you come in, let's say at point A and you go out at point B and that point where you go out, point B is a point that allows you to become a designer that is of a higher value that can support themselves or they can make actually more money as a designer. So my focus was always about, I love design, I'm passionate about design, I wanna do better design. 
However, that is my job and I want to be able to support myself and my family and I want to make more money as a designer doing the thing that I love. So it's not just like, I know that I can pick up, you know, I can go to Skillshare or whatever and learn the new illustration or logo design technique. But at the end of the day, I came out with that technique, with that skill and I'm asking is right now, do I know how to monetize that and do I, can I make more money out of it? So the way I try to structure my courses, the first one, the Webflow course, was with the focus of, you know, you can learn Webflow and Webflow is amazing, I love Webflow, but here you learn it with the goal of being able to build faster, you know, make more money on the uh, web project that you're building because you don't have to outsource development anymore. And, you know, the, the buying the course is not just building a skill. It's a very, very easy business investment. You know, you put in $500, $700, you come out with twenty, thirty, fifty thousand $50,000 within a pretty short amount of time. It's very, very um, easy math to do. And you, you, I can see it from my student that it really works well for them. So that is how I want to transform them. The second course, the $10,000 website process takes people who, you know, could design website for maybe a thousand or three thousand dollar and giving them a process which they can charge for then ten thousand dollar for a website and that so it takes them from point a to point b and that's why i talk about transfer transforming your abilities to make a living as a designer now the other part of that is that i fully believe that going to school and learning is not about only the information and every time that i talk about what i get what I got when I went to four years of design school, I always talk about the feedback, the, the ability to get feedback and the ability to make friends and create a network for yourself. And I want to make sure that the, the programs that I create do that. You are able to get feedback and you are able to build relationships and, and network. So that is still work in progress. But the, the recent hire that I did, I hired one of my students, Bob, which has been phenomenal web flow student and has been tremendously helpful in the community. I've hired him to now give support to everyone as as part of his job. So now you can make sure that everyone who's been, you know, writing has a problem um, with Webflow or they're not sure how to do something instantaneously, they'll have somebody helping them and taking them by, by the hand. Before that, I was doing that, but I, it wasn't scalable. I couldn't help everybody do it, you know, at least in a timely manner. And because I think this is something that is so important to the thing that I do, um, I've made that higher because this is the place where I want to be. I want to be able to create programs that allow for feedback and support and you know it's not just the information that we give it's us taking you by the hand and making sure that you see results and you're able to apply that information um, to end up successful so those are the two things those are the, the, the visions that I have one is uh, the best media platform for designers online or maybe even not online right um, creating the best content for designers and then the other one is creating i don't want to have the most courses but i want to have the deepest and most meaningful courses transformational courses for designer online and i'm, I'm glad to have you uh with me on this journey it's really exciting this is really a kind of a long-term vision and play i won't be able to do all of it this year but now that i have this vision kind of clarified the next step um, is it's much clearer what I have to do next in order to get there in one, two, three, five, ten years ahead from now. I'm excited to see you with me down the line. See you on the next video.